Hi, this is Alex from Groovy Entertainment. Today we got another record to play for you. Today's record is the story of Jackala from 1978. So let's get started. part of Europe, near a dark and sinister mountain, was the castle of the most evil man in all the world, the castle Dracula, the man who had the power to turn himself into a vampire bat. It is very early one morning in July that Barbara, Billy, and their mother and father arrived for their vacation. They arrived in a small village in Transylvania. All day they walked around the village trying to find the inn where they were to stay. As they walked, it is beautiful. It looks like a village that time has forgotten. I don't believe it. And the people still dress as they did 100 years ago. I don't like it. I don't know why we had to come here for a vacation. The kids back home couldn't believe it when I told them that we were going to Transylvania. Well, they all laughed. Well, you know, I'm writing a book, and it's the best place to write about this village. Well, let's ask someone about the castle and where we're able to stay. Sir? What do you want? We're looking for a hotel. We want a place to stay, and this letter I got back said uh, the Sylvania Inn. But where could that be? The inn. It is not here. But look, here is the letter. Do not ask me. The inn no longer stands here. What do you mean? It burned down three weeks ago. Great. Now we have no place to stay. Oh, this is going to be some vacation. Children, will you please be quiet? Your father will take care of everything. Well, surely there are other places that will take us in. We do not like people from the outside coming to our village. But we're here. We have to find some place to stay. Would you like some advice? Well, what is it? Turn around. Leave now, before dark. This is a very strange place after dark. But our cab driver drove off as soon as we got here. He thought we were crazy when we told him we wanted to come here. I have things to do. Soon the sun will set. <sighs> now what, Robert? What are we to do? Oh, I'll go over to the little house. Maybe they will be more helpful. So Robert walked across the old cobblestone street and knocked at the wooden door. Who knocks so loud? What do you want? My family came here for the summer. We want to stay at the end, but we hear that it burned down and we don't have any place to stay for the night. Oh, tell your family to come in. The sun will soon set and the street is no place for you to be. Come over here. This nice man will let us stay here for the night. What a strange place. I think it looks like the village I've, I've seen in all those old horror movies. I'm a monster and I'm going oh, to drink your blood. Look that way. Quiet. Well, he was just fooling around. This is not the place to fool around. Don't tell me that you still believe in that Dracula stuff. Yes, madam, we do. We of this village still believe and worry that he will come back. This is creepy. Dracula, that's only in movies. It's not real. You think not? Well, I only hope that you never see him. I think we shall go back to New York in the morning. Dracula? I don't believe it. Come. You look tired. I have two rooms here. You can share them. You rest for a while, I shall ask Gareth to warm up some soup. You must be hungry. I am. Well, you're, you're being so very kind. I look out of the window. The sun is nearly set. All I can see is a little bit of it beside the mountain. It glows a, a fierce red light. The mountain is the mountain of doom. But come down this hall to your rooms. Now, this one shall be your room. And right across the hall, the children will stay. The four travelers went into their rooms. Their host then ran down the hall to the kitchen. Get up, get up, warm up the soup. We have guests. What? Has someone come to our village? Impossible. They were to stay at the inn. They did not know that it burned down. It will make him happy to know that there are four new people here. You are not going to tell him. I must. Do you want something to happen to us? I shall ride up to his castle tonight and tell him. Be careful. Careful of what? Uh, the soup, the soup, it, it might be hot. Be careful not to burn yourself. Get up, fix the table for our guests, eat and then rest. Mm. 
nights are long and cold here. Dad, I've got the creeps. This place is perfect for sit around and tell ghost stories. Well, let's do that. Could we sit here near the fire after dinner and tell ghost stories? You are welcome to do what you want. You are kind. Thank you. Sit and eat. I must go out now. Would you like to stay with us and listen? No, I do not like ghost stories. Who knows? They might come true. And the family sat down to have their meal of soup and bread. Little did they know that their host, a strange little man with a limp, had gone down to the stables and was now riding as fast as he could up the mountain road to the castle. The castle stood at the edge of a cliff. It looked as if it had not been lived in for hundreds of years. No one knew that deep in an underground chamber, sleeping in his coffin, was the owner of the castle, the evil Count Dracula. Slowly the old man climbed down the stairs into the damp, cold chamber. Strange sounds filled the room. Master! Master, I, I come to you! All became quiet. Not a sound was heard. Then the top of the coffin began to move. And a hand appeared, pushed it all to the door. The master, that the old man had called him, sat up slowly. He was very strange looking. His skin was as white as snow. His eyes flashed with a red fire. Soon he was standing in front of the old man. Master, four strangers have come to our village. This is why I summon you, just as you have ordered me to do. Try as the people may, they cannot keep newcomers away from this village. They have failed again. You have done well. Now make certain that they cannot leave the village. Then leave all to me. How many did you say? Four. A mother, a father, and two children. Children. <laughs> that is good. Tomorrow, tell them about this castle. Make them want to search for it. I shall await them. Now, go back to the village. I wait. <laughs> the man turned and ran out of the castle. The sky was filled with lightning and thunder as he got on his horse and rode down the mountain to the village. Next morning, the sun was bright and mother and father walked through the streets while Billy and his sister went for a walk with their host. Uh, how, how are the ghost stories? I'm sorry that I missed them. It was fun. I think we scared ourselves silly. Do you believe in ghosts? If you have lived here as long as I have, you can believe in anything. Not me. There are no such thing as ghosts. This is a strange place, my boy. Have you ever read or heard of Dracula? I saw movies of him. Well, that could never happen, though, could it? Who knows? Some say that this was the village where it all happened. You're kidding. It's supposed to have happened here? I don't believe it. Look there, through the trees. There is a castle. You're, you're not going to tell me that's the castle of Dracula, are you? Dracula, as the legend goes, had three castles. This is supposed to be the third castle. Come on, Barbara, let's go exploring. You want me to go there? No, not me. What? Are you afraid? Don't you know that Dracula can't hurt anyone as long as the sun is shining? And what time is it? It is past four. The sun will not set for quite a while. Good. Come on, Barbara. I would love to go, too, but I have this bad leg, and I, I cannot climb the cliff. Are you going, Freddy Cat, Barbara? Go on. I'm certain that your brother will take care of you. Oh, all right. It should be fun. See you at dinner. Bet I can climb faster than you. Of course you can. You're a boy. Goodbye, and take care. The two children waved goodbye and began to climb up the cliff to the ruined castle. Oh, it's further than I, further than I thought. Oh, let's go back. It's getting awfully late. No, no, I won't give up. We're nearly there. Oh, I'm tired. Oh, you're just like all girls. Look, we only have a little further to go. Up and up they climbed. Soon they were at the door to the strange castle. Now what do you want to do, Billy? Do you think I should knock? No one lives here. Let's see if the door is opened. Maybe we'll have to climb in through the window. They pushed the door and with a mighty creak, it swung slowly. Spooky, isn't it? You knew it would be. Shall we go in? Do you think it'll be all right? 
I thought you were going to be the brave one. Well, I'm going. Look, I don't believe it. Never had they Look seen a this. castle like this. Oh, it was all covered with great cobwebs. Dust I was everywhere. Every time they took a step, the dust would fly in all directions. The floors creaked under each step. I don't like it here, Billy. It's so dark. All the windows are covered over. So no sun can come in? There's a candle on this table and some old matches. I hope that they work. Yep. Oh, there, I lit a match. Now oh, the candle is lit. Just as Billy had lit the candle, a gust of wind blew the front door closed. Closed! Closed! Billy, it's the... it's locked! Here, hold the candle. I'll try to open it. Try as Billy would. He could uh, not open the door. Oh! The wind closed it so with such force that it has become locked. What are we going to do? Don't worry, Barbara. We'll find another way out. Oh, I hope so. I wonder where these steps lead to. I wonder what's upstairs. Oh, I wish we were home. This is fun. Think about all the things we can tell our friends. We walked through a haunted castle that Dracula was supposed to live in. Ah! Oh. What's that crawling on the steps? It's just the shadow of the candle, Barbara. Oh. You nearly scared me with that scream. Up the creaky staircase went the children. As Billy stepped on the last step, it broke. Oh! And Billy fell oh! Billy? Billy, are you all right? Are no. you going to fall down? No, no, take my hand. Help, help put me up. I'm trying, Billy. I'm trying. I can't hold on much longer. Try, Barbara. Finally, Barbara was able to pull her brother up to oh. the second floor landing. Oh. Boy, that would have been a long drop. Well, Billy... I just saw someone or something go into that room. Who, who, who's there? Come on, whoever you are. I saw a shadow. Did you hear something? I did. Something fell to the floor. That door's opening. Whatever it is, it's coming out now. I'm afraid. Oh, look, Billy, it was only a cat. I'm glad. But it's a black cat. Oh, it might be bad luck. Come on, let's go into that room. Billy took the candle and walked down the hall. on the wall. Do you get the feeling that all the eyes are following us? I was just going to ask you the same thing. They stopped in front of a door. Do you think we should go in? Why not? You're the one who wanted to come here in the first place. The door opened into what was once a bedroom. It's a giant four-poster bed, sagging under the weight of dust and hundreds of cobwebs in the center of the room. I don't think anyone has been in this room for many, many years. It's so smelly and full of dust and cobwebs. Billy, there's something lying in the center of the bed. No, it couldn't be. Barbara, is it? Go over and see what it is. Why should I? You're the boy. We'll both go over and... Oh, it's a skeleton! Help! Let's get out of here! They started to run from the room, but a gust of wind blew the door closed. Oh. The wind had blown through an open window behind them. The door's locked! I can't get it open! Billy, look outside! The sun is it's starting to set! We've got to get out of here! Let me see if I can climb to the ledge the outside the window. Billy ran to the window and looked out. Can you, Billy? No, there's no ledge. It's a sheer drop down to those jagged rocks below. Oh, I think I'm really scared. Me too. Just then, they heard footsteps outside the door. There's someone out there. Who do you think it is? Whatever it is, he stopped outside the door. Look, the lock is turning. Whoever it is, it's coming in. The door opened, and into the room came a very strange little man. He was about a foot high, and he was very mean-looking. Welcome to the castle of the cow. You are expected for dinner. We are? But how did you know we were coming? The master is wise and knows all. Follow me. The two children followed the strange man back down the hallway. Watch your step. The first one is broken. I know. 
No, I nearly fell through it. This way to the great hall. The children followed him into a great hall. There was a long table, and at the end of it sat their host. Welcome, children. We seldom have guests here at the castle. Who are you? How foolish of me. Permit me to introduce myself. I am the owner of this castle. It looked like nobody lived here. I prefer to live alone. Sit. Your dinner will get cold. The Count's servant brought in all kinds of food and set it down in front of the children. Aren't you going to eat? I... I am not hungry for food. I shall wait till later, then I will dine. It's very good. We're going to have to leave right after dinner. Our mother will be worried. Eat and run. No, I want to show you my empty castle. Oh, well, we'll come back tomorrow. Come. I want to show you the gardens. It is beautiful in the moonlight. Then you can go home. All right. Come on, Barbara. Let's see the garden by moonlight. Dad will never believe it when we tell him about our adventure today. There is my garden. It's all covered with weeds. It must have been pretty once. Come, walk with me over to the pool and then gaze at the house. It is a sight that you will never forget. Come on, Billy. Then we'll go home. Oh, sir, where are you? He's gone. He tricked us out here and now he's vanished. Do you think what, what I'm thinking? That, that he could be? He couldn't be. Not the real one. Barbara, look out! It's a giant bat! It's going to fly down at us! Run! Run over here under this wall! Doc, here it comes again! I think that was he! That was Dracula! It couldn't be! Look, there he is, standing over there! Welcome to the castle Dracula. I, Count Dracula, welcome you. Enjoy my castle. Soon you will be one of us. A vampire. <laughs> what do you do? Look, he's, he's turning into a bat again. Here it comes. The children leaned against the stone wall, trying to get out of the reach of the bat. Where they were leaning was a secret door, and it swung open as they touched the hidden spring. It's a door. Where does it lead? I don't know, but it's better than staying here. They entered the secret entrance. They found steps. Just then a rat ran across Barbara's foot. <gasps> a rat? Oh, Billy, I'm scared. Don't worry. At least we got away from Dracula. Down the stairs went the two children. Finally, they reached the bottom. Careful, Barbara. I think we'll be all right here. I think I'm going to cry. We have no time for you to cry. Just hold my hand and we'll walk very close to the wall. Where do you think this is going? Well, it feels like we're going deeper and deeper down. The path is downward slope. <gasps> What's wrong? Something just crawled over my foot. I think it was a snake. Did it go away? Yes. Are we ever going to get out of here? If we can make it through the night, we'll be all right. Did you hear something? It sounded like a wolf. The path is turning here. Hold on to me. Slowly, the children went deeper into the darkened chamber. Suddenly, they saw a light. Where's that light coming from? It's just a beam of light from a crack in the wall way up there. See? Oh, I do. At least I can see a little better now. Where do you think we are? We're in some kind of dungeon. Barbara, I saw something moving over there. Do you think it's Dracula? I don't know. Who's there? We see you. Come out. There is someone there. They're creeping out from behind that huge cask. Who's there? Billy and Barbara? The two children I saw arrive in the village. Your family should have left when I told them. Now he is awake. He wants to make you one of them. He wants to turn us into vampires? Oh, how horrible! We have to get out of here before he finds out where we are. But how? Over there is a staircase that will take you up to the main part of the castle. If we get there, then we will have a chance to get out of this place. If he finds us, then what? Barbara, don't even think about that. Are you ready? I guess so. Then let's go. The three of them started to run for the staircase. Just as they reached it, a huge bat flew into the chamber. Oh. It landed at the top of the staircase and changed into Count Dracula. You thought that I would not find you? Now I have three here. We're not afraid of you. 
But do you think that I am afraid of you? Let's run over to the secret entrance. Remember the one that you used to get in here. As fast as they ran, the vampire was faster. He changed again into a bat and was at the entrance to the chamber before Billy and Barbara and the man could reach it. Look into my eyes. All right, Judy, don't look. I'll try to stop him. Run for the staircase. Billy and Barbara started running. They turned back and they could not believe what they were seeing. You are in my power. Come to me now. I come, Master. The man who had tried to help them was walking toward the vampire. The vampire grabbed him and bit him on the neck. The man fell to the floor. Hurry, let's get away. Run. You cannot run from me. He's over there. What can we do? Billy, think of something. I think I know a way that might keep him away. I remember from some of those movies, something that might help. See that broken chair over there? Get me some of the legs. Why? No time to explain. Just get them. Well, here they are. Well, what are you going to do? Vampires don't like the sign of the cross. The legs, you've made them look like a cross. Look into my eyes, children. Look. You look at this. <laughs> look, he's backing away. Let's see if we can get out of here. We've got to get up those steps. Be careful, Billy. Now keep the cross away. Now put it away. I let you go free. I don't believe you. Come on, let's run up those stairs. Just as the children had reached halfway up the wooden staircase, it started to shake. The staircase was rotten all the way through. I, I think it's going to fall. Let's run for it. They were nearly at the top when the staircase began to fall. Billy and Barbara dropped the cross and held onto the teeth. They fell to the floor of the chamber. Dust flew everywhere. And when it settled, Billy called. Barbara. Barbara, are you all right? Oh, I'm okay. Are you? I'm not hurt. But look there. You have dropped the cross. Now you shall be mine. Get up, Barbara, <laughs> and run. Everywhere the children ran, Dracula appeared. Then Barbara made a mistake. She looked into his eyes. Look deep into my eyes. Don't. I can't help it. I want to. I want to. Come to me. Look. Look into my oh, eyes. Barbara started to walk to Dracula. Just as she was three feet from him, Billy ran and jumped on Dracula's back and started hitting him. Do you think that you can bite me? <laughs> Billy was very brave and clung to the back of the vampire. I will not tire, but you will. With a mighty swing, Dracula threw Billy to the floor. <laughs> now you shall be first. Look into my eyes. No! No. It will be easier. Dracula grabbed Billy, and just as he was about to sink his teeth into Billy's neck, the first rays of the morning sun shone through a crack in the chamber wall. It hit the vampire's back. He dropped Billy and let out a mighty yell. Oh, sunlight! I forgot. Sunlight! I... I cannot... Right before Billy and Barbara's eyes, the vampire started to change. He became very old. Soon he turned into dust, and then he vanished. He's gone. I want to go home. The children ran out of the castle and back to the village. Their mother and father had been worried to death about their not being home all night. They told their parents about the castle and Dracula. But you know, I don't think they believed them. But we know it's true. And I wait for you. <laughs> So that was the story of Dracula for 1978. So... Please like, subscribe, share, and comment, and have a groovy day. And we'll have another video coming out real soon.